everyone and welcome back to The Breakdown. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to download and install the FTB Ultimate Reloaded Mod Pack. This is actually a really cool, simpler mod pack from FTB that, as you can see, actually redoes their FTB Ultimate Mod Pack that was released on Minecraft 1.4.7 over five years ago. That is absolutely incredible. This is one of their first mod packs that was super, super, super popular for quite a long time. So they went ahead and redid it for 1.12.2. So uh, let's just go ahead and jump on into it. But first, we have a message from our sponsor, which is Apex Minecraft Hosting. Go to the first link down below, the breakdown.xyz slash Apex Modded to get an awesome 24-hour DDoS protected modded Minecraft server running FTB Ultimate Reloaded or any other mod pack. There are tons of mod packs with one-click installation over on Apex Minecraft Hosting. Yep, that's right. Just one click to set up a mod pack and you're good to go. We love Apex so much, we actually host our own server on them, play.breakdowncraft.com. So if you want an awesome server, whether it's modded, whether it's running Spigot, whether it's just running vanilla Minecraft, Apex is the way to go. That is the first link down below, the breakdown.xyz slash Apex modded. Nevertheless, let's go ahead and jump right on into this. First thing you want to do is go to the second link down below. It'll come here where you want to click on this download now button. That will go ahead and open up the Twitch setup.exe. Twitch, I thought we were installing an FTB mod pack. Well, we are. FTB is owned by Curse Forge, which is owned by Twitch. So you install FTB mod packs through the Twitch launcher here. So as you can see, twitchsetup.exe is what file we should be downloading. If you're on Mozilla Firefox like this, it'll open up in the center of the screen where you can click Save File in Google Chrome. It'll open up in the bottom left. It will probably automatically download, but if it doesn't, you can go ahead and click Keep. So I'm going to go ahead and click Save File there. And now if we minimize our browser, we will see here on our desktop the Twitch setup. This isn't on your desktop. No worries. It's in the top left for me. It's in the bottom left of your screen though that little windows icon there click on that and it'll open up this drop down where you want to type in downloads right like so maybe you could spell it correctly though downloads there we go and then you have this downloads folder go ahead and click on that and then drag the twitch setup from your downloads folder to your desktop just for ease of use once the twitch setup is on your desktop it's going to install just like any other program just double click on it and it'll open up a nice installer like right like so click on the purple install button it'll go through and install and then once it's finished it should automatically open. If it doesn't, it'll throw this on your desktop, which you can double click to get it to open. Now you will need to log into Twitch here. So I'm going to go ahead and do that real quick. Enter my username and password. And I'll see you after a quick jump cut to click the login button. There we go. Now I'm going to get hit with two-factor authentication. You won't do this, but I'll see you on the Twitch main menu. There we go. So here we are on the Twitch apps main menu. Once you're here, you want to click on the mods tab right here. See right up here in the top, you see that mods tab? Click on that. And then Minecraft won't be lit up like mine is. It'll be grayed out like one of these so you know click on it and then you'll have an install button as you can see this ends scan but what you want to do is click install it'll be in the bottom center of the screen a purple button there and then you'll land on this page once you're here you want to click on browse FTB mod packs and then as you can see there is ultimate reloaded but you can also search it up here if you don't see it you can just search for example ultimate and it'll pull up right there FTB ultimate reloaded we can then click the purple install button right there and it will go ahead and begin installing the FTB ultimate reloaded mod pack as you can see it's got quite a few files to download there it's going to take a while um, I think there's over 100 mods in this mod pack yes 124 downloading right there so quick jump cut until all of these are downloaded and I will see you once they are once FTB ultimate reloaded is downloaded you'll have this purple play button here click on that purple play button and it will go ahead and open up the Minecraft launcher. Now, this is the default Minecraft launcher and most likely you'll you'll land on this page and you need to enter in your login information for Minecraft to then be able to play FTB Ultimate Reloaded. You do need to own Minecraft Java Edition to be able to play FTB Ultimate Reloaded so that is something to know as well. This is going to be the same login information that you use in the normal Minecraft launcher and that is because this is the default normal Minecraft launcher. So let me go ahead enter in my email real quick there we go password and log right on in so here we are now this is the page that you'll land on now up here in the top right you see these three lines go ahead and click on those and then click on launch options right here and here you'll have the FTB ultimate reloaded profile click on that and then I'm gonna go ahead and change our resolution here just so you guys will be able to see it better but then if we come down here under JVM arguments you see that there is this XMX 3228 I'm gonna go ahead and up that to six now you might not be able to do that if you only have for example six gigabytes of RAM or four gigabytes of RAM, you're not going to be able to run this with six gigabytes of RAM. But I'm upping this number to 6228, which is just under six gigabytes of RAM. I would recommend running this pack with at least four gigabytes of RAM. However, you could give it a shot at three gigabytes, but uh, you might have some lag. If you do have lag, just come back here and up this until you don't, assuming you have enough RAM to do that. Nevertheless, go ahead and click save, and then we can come back over here to the news tab, click the little green arrow next.
next to the play button and then click on FTB Ultimate Reloaded right there. Then go ahead and click play. It'll then open up FTB Ultimate Reload. Oh, what is this? Unable to save, download. Don't worry, if you get that error, just click close and click play again. It'll work. I don't know why it airs out like that, but the Twitch launcher has been doing that for a long time. It just airs out for some reason. Then you click play again and it works like it never happened. So yeah, now it's gonna go ahead and open on up. It's going to take a very long time for this mod pack to open up the first time. After the first time, it'll take a while, but it won't take as long. So just know that every time you play FTB, it's gonna take probably a minute or two to open the mod pack. However, on the first launch, it could take you up to 10 minutes to launch a mod pack. So I'm just gonna go ahead, step away, and just let this mod pack launch on up. Now, one thing I will say, is if you get like a random spinning and like the like whole entire game turns white and you're like, oh, it's crashing, it won't. It'll probably just lag through it and it won't actually crash. However, if this does crash, if the game does crash while launching, you just need to add more RAM. That's all you need to do. Go add more RAM. We just did that. As you can see, I added just under six gigabytes, 5.5 gigabytes of RAM there. So go add more RAM, come back, and you'll be able to launch it. But nevertheless, I will go ahead and see you on the FTB Ultimate Reloaded main menu. And there we go, FTB Ultimate Reloaded is now up. And look at this awesome custom menu. Like that is pretty awesome. You can click on single player here and just jump into a quick single player world just to prove that it's working for you guys. I'm gonna load this on up just with anything in my pack. It's gonna take a bit longer than it normally would to load in your first world. So I will see you once we've loaded in to a game of FTB ultimate reloaded and here we are we are in game we've got custom trees looks like we've got like a cool custom build over there maybe i don't know what that is oh is that a meteor i don't know what this is it's like a oil explosion or something's happened here but anyway we are in game and we can see all of the different i mean look at all those different features that is absolutely incredible if you guys have any questions or have any issues in installing this mod pack please let me know in the comment section down below and be sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for more awesome content exactly like this every single day of the week we've actually got a video coming up on how to start a server for fdb ultimate reloaded if you want to learn how to do that so subscribe for that video and i will see you in the next one my name is nick this has been the breakdown and i am out peace